Chris and I looked at tape starting from January. We didn't have to look very far. Chris? Fingers crossed. There was a war going on in January, a beer war in Moose Jaw. The weapon, a dancing girl. She attracted customers all right, but she didn't stay long. The liquor board stepped in and said, we'll have none of that kind of behavior in a place where alcohol is being served. One of the big mysteries of the year was the pole on 12th Avenue. It didn't appear to do anything. It didn't support a light or even have any wires and nobody seemed to know what it was for. No idea what it does. We figured it may have been planted there by some aliens or something. <laughs> well, it was probably an initial grant for a uh, 50 style sculpture, which sort of failed, I think. <laughs> I have no idea. You guys don't have any idea either, have you? We found out it did have a purpose. A photo cell turned on the lights in Victoria Park, but the city's since taken it down. Marie Antoinette supposedly said, let them eat cake. Well, we said, let Bryce Eckstein eat pie. <laughs> Speaking of eating, a lot of turkeys went from the field to the oven on Thanksgiving. And if they had no idea what was happening, a lot of us didn't know why it was happening. It was about uh, where Jesus had um, his last supper. His last supper, yeah, his last supper, and they watch his feet or something like that, then he's putting it across, and that's how he got the first Thanksgiving. When Mayor Schneider said he was going to ride through Burks, we said, bull, and we were right. Well, that's true. Watch out. One afternoon, my editor sent me to cover a story at the Hotel Saskatchewan. There was a christening, and since it was a clock, it took a little time. Well, Chris, I think that about covers this year's Lighter Moments. Did we forget anything? Well, I didn't, but uh, I think you did. I think you're right. Mm-hmm.